Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a bug when you run test case using TFS 2013 uh, web access. So what happened is uh, sometimes when you run the test and using web access and uh, that didn't work, that particular step didn't work as expected and you wanted to create a bug off of that. How you do that, you're going to learn in this video. So let's go in my server and uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to start from the beginning. So let's open up Internet Explorer, connect with the uh, TFS. In my case, it's uh, Tech Brothers TFS 8080 port and TFS. This is the URL of my uh, Team Foundation server. And if you don't see your team project up here, um, you can click on Browse and go to the collection and select the project that you're a member of. So we're going to go ahead and click on Tech Brothers Team Project. We're going to go ahead and click on Test. And if you wanted to, uh, uh, if you're looking for a particular test plan, you can uh, uh, click on query and uh, 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 find your test plan. But let's say that this is our test plan and this is our test, test case right here. So we're going to go ahead and click run test case. So this is the steps in our test case. Let's say that please open attachment. That worked fine for us. We're going to pass that copy the URL of the application that passed for us. We did that. Paste it in Internet Explorer. Obviously we did that. Click on go and enter and we did that too. All four steps passed and now see if login page appeared. Let's say that it did not appear. We're gonna fail that test. Got error and let's say that you know um, some sort of uh, application error uh, HTTP 401 access denied so we're gonna go ahead and do that once you select that you can go ahead and click uh, create bug which we're learning in this particular video so we're gonna go ahead and click on create bug access denied is the is the bug tag is access issue issues so who you wanted to assign to whoever you wanted to assign to you can do that proposed if it's new then it's always going to be proposed once it's saved then you can change the state reason it's new it's always going to be new it's your first time creating it or it's going to be build failure so if it's a automated process, automated process, it's going to be a build failure. So you can go ahead and click on that. If it's a, it, this test was run by the build agent, build agent. Um, so you're going to go ahead and click that priority. Um, you can select all these good options. Up here, when you do that, the the good option up here is root cause. So is, is it a coding error, communication error, design error, specification error? So we're going to go ahead and click on communication error because access denied may means that it cannot communicate with the network or it cannot communicate with Active Directory. So we're going to go ahead and change that to communication error. So up here, these are the steps right here, passed, passed, and this is for developers and they will look at it and here are our comments. Remember we put a comments that uh, this is the error I'm getting HTTP 401 access denied. So you can put put it up there. This is the system uh, uh, up here. This is um, uh, test configuration uh, Windows 8 and that is good for developers because uh, sometimes they wanted to know that where you select what system are you running this test on because sometimes uh, their application does not support particular uh, operating systems such as 2012. Uh, maybe Windows 2008 R2, uh, etc. So you can, uh, you know, put all that information. Some some information are grabbed from our um, up here running the test. So other things up here, there are optional things. You can create a link to the uh, if this bug was there before and you wanted to create a link that it didn't really fix anything. So you can do that, and up here there's is what are the symptoms when you click on login, you provide the password that those are the symptoms um, that um, it runs for five five seconds uh, looking for the login, and then 
uh, it gives you error. Those could be one of the s symptoms. And fix this. This will be um, filled by some of the tests. Uh, filled by the you know if it's a uh, fixed after you run the test again, you know, if you can click those options. So this is how you really uh, run your. Um, uh, you create bug uh, in uh, Team Foundation ser uh, Server 2013 using web access. Uh, if you run into uh, any issue during your test case uh, execution, you can create a bug out of that. Now, there is a, bit, a little bit difference between uh, using web access and Microsoft uh, uh, Test Manager. In Microsoft Test Manager, basically, you can go ahead and record the whole thing and send it to your developer. And also, you have option to take screenshots uh, during your execution of your test plan. You can send it and send that if you don't know how to create a bug using Microsoft test manager I would recommend you go ahead and watch my video creating a bug using a Microsoft test manager and you will get some help helpful information up there and I hope uh, this video helps so we're gonna go ahead and click on save and close all right so we're done I hope it helps.